Greetings, everyone. This is Donna Gillilan. Have you ever performed a mail merge within Word and you were working from information from within Excel a spreadsheet and the numbers did not come over correctly? They didn't translate correctly? But how do you fix that? So here's what the tip's about. How to correct the formatting translation of an Excel currency field when mail merged within a Word document. Let me show you what I mean, and then I'm going to teach you how you would fix this from within Word during the merge. Here's the, the uh, spreadsheet I'm going to be working with. This spreadsheet's actually part of the intermediate Word class that I teach, and the course we already use is Logical Operations, and this is one of the practice files. Now, looking at the file, sales bonus, the values have been formatted for currency. And in Excel, currency formatting gives one the dollar symbol, commas for uh, numbers that commas are applicable for, and provides two decimal placements. However, Excel doesn't retain that formatting whenever that field is called to within the mail merge. And the reason why is that Excel stores this information in its native format, meaning minus those formattings. That's how it's stored within Excel. And what happens is when the merge is performed, then Excel is going to, uh, it's not bringing that formatting over in the translation. That's where we have to fix it with what are called switches. And this may be your first time to learn about switch codes. And they are so powerful in it's important to, uh, to understand them and know about them, and you're going to learn one of them. Sounds technical. It sounds technical, but it's but it's not. I'll show you. Now I'm going over to a Word document that I've just started creating as as a uh, fictitious form letter here to give you an idea, and I have already attached the Excel file to this document by going to mailings and choosing from the start mail merge, select recipients. And I had previously chosen use an existing list, and then I chose the file you saw moments ago. And I've already begun the process by putting in the address block to retrieve the name and address. And I've already got the greeting line. And then I've already put in the, the code sales bonus here. Let me take this off so you can see. So here in the form letter, everybody is going to be getting a different quarterly bonus. And it's coming out of a field called sales bonus. And I want to bring that field into this point on the screen. And I'll do that by going to mailings, choosing insert merge field to get a list of all the fields that are in that Excel spreadsheet. And the one I want to retrieve the values from is sales bonus. And then here's the code. Now here's the here are the steps uh, for bringing the uh, for translating so the formatting is retained. But first, let me show you what happens without using the switch that I'm about to teach you. I'm going to go ahead and choose preview results so I can take a look. And I'm on page three of this results and it says 2000, but there's no dollar, no comma, no decimals. That's where we need the switch to format correctly since Excel is bringing this over in native format. Let me switch back to preview results so you can see the code. Let me go ahead and put a period here at the end so that it'll be a complete sentence when completed. Now here are the steps. Ready? We're using a switch code. Number one, you must select the field code including the left and right caret symbols. Now you've got it selected. The second thing is we need to see the back end coding of that a field code. And you can do that in more than one way. And one way is simply hover over this selected field and right click. From the actions list, you choose toggle field codes and then it toggles and shows you what the field code is associated with the bringing in of the information of that field from within Excel. But step three is to make the modification of the addition of a switch that will make the proper format whenever we merge. The first thing is click at the very end of the name of the field 
but you must be inside the braces that's on the right. Now, a switch is always preceded with a backslash. And then whatever follows that backslash is the code that gets applied to the contents of the field. Now, our code is going to be a pound sign, indicative of a number, and then any symbol we want for that number, which is going to be a dollar symbol is going to be included, so you type that. And then we want a literal comma as well. And then we want to format the values. And we'll use a zero indicating a value, then a period to get a literal decimal, and then two more zeros to indicate two decimal placements. So that's the code. That's the switch code that's going to give us that formatting that we need. And there are all types of switch codes that you can use to change how a field gets formatted, including dates. Like if dates weren't coming over correctly from Excel, there is a, a date switch code, but you get the idea. Now what we want to do is see how it looks and going back to, uh, going to go ahead and make sure I've updated this. Right click and update field just to make sure now I'm going to preview the results and there it is. Now I have a dollar and a comma and I have two decimals because I used a switch code. At this point, I would finish up the form letter and then I would and get everything in that I want to say. And then from there, I would then perform them, uh, finish the merge. And then all the letters would be merged and each person would then have the number that's associated with their their uh, bonus, their sales numbers, uh, bonus numbers for their sales. And I hope you found that helpful. I have more tips coming. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope you will, because when I update and bring in new videos, upload new videos, you'll be contacted. And I'd like to know what you think about this one, and whether it's helped you with something that you didn't know how to do before. So stay tuned for more tips and tutorials coming soon.